you see the chili oil see the stuffing the white bass it is really good looking guys you can smell the aroma it smells so good Adventures. Welcome to another episode of Wild Urban Adventures. So you just got back from North Dakota or South Dakota and you caught a whole bunch of these guys. Now how are you going to cook them up you ask? Well I'm going to show you a simple recipe for cooking these delicious white bass right on the grill. We're just going to basically scale them, cut them up and throw them in foil with, uh, with some spices in the stomach area and go from there. So follow along as we cook this very delicious North Dakota white bass from Devil's Lake. All right, let's get to it. This is the easiest way to scale them. Take your fork and just start going backwards. Hold the head of the white bass and just go backwards. What the water would do is it would keep all the, all the scales from, from jumping out. This is from a previous white bass that I just did. Makes it a less mess and won't clog your sink. Easiest way to scale these white bass. You can use the side of the fork or the or the pointy part of the fork. Switch for under the under the fins. Stick the side of the fork underneath the water. Let's go, let's go back towards the front. For the smaller parts like this on the front fins, for the back fins, you can use the tip of the fork. And for the dorsal fin, very simple. So we'll come back when these are all scaled up and we'll show you the next step. Alright guys, now you get your white bass all scaled up. I'm going to show you an easy way to cut it open without making a big mess. And so you can put more stuffing inside them. So we're basically going to cut cut a strip on the back right right to the bones so follow along so guys the this step is really simple just gonna take your knife just gonna cut it along the back cut along all the way until you hit the bone and you can cut through the back part without going through without going all the way through From, from here, once you get to the spine, it's gonna cut right through the spine. So you, you need a bigger, sharper knife for this part. And always be aware where your hands is, because you don't want to cut your hand. Just like that. Slice it through right here. Let's open it up, open up the cavity a little bit more. Right behind the fins. We're gonna keep the eggs intact. And we're just gonna move all the stomach content. Move the intestines, stomach entrails. And keep the heart. We're gonna keep the eggs in there. The eggs is actually really good too. Now from here, just take our water, rinse it out. Once you're done cutting them up, cutting up your white bass, it should look just like this. Got a nice butterfly fillet almost. Still got the liver in there, the heart, and you still got the sack of eggs. Just like this. 
Now we're ready for the next step. Time to throw in some cilantro, green onions, hot peppers, or whatever you like. Let's go to the next step, guys. All right, guys, this is some of the basic ingredients we use. We use cilantro, green onion, and hot peppers. Also use this granulated chicken flavor mix, the panda flavor oyster sauce, some instant beef flavor for pho, and some spicy chili crisp. Then I get a little bit of uh, sea salt right here. Right here just to go on the outside. How about you just cut up your cilantro, green onions, and mix them up into this little paste consist consistency right here. And we're basically just gonna stuff the inside of the white bass. Alright guys, one of the best thing about cooking Asian is you can put any spice, any type of spice that you want in your fish or any kind of meat that you're cooking. As I said, that we're going to be putting that special blend in with the green onions, cilantro, and all the, all the ingredients that I just showed you. We're basically going to just stuff the, the white bass, throw it in some foil, and get it ready to cook. Take a spoonful, just stuff it in there. You stuff as much as you want. As much as you want, as little as you want. Just like so. Put it along the back. Just like so. Make sure you get all the way back in the crevice. Close it up. Gonna grab our foil sheet. Grab a foil. Just gonna throw some salt on first. Just like so. Because that's gonna get the other side of the white bass. Pop right on there. Put your salt on. You can put again. You can put as much or as little salt as you want. It's all up to your preference. Once you're done, go ahead and close it up. And now we're basically ready for the grill. So stay tuned, I have a few more white bass to get ready for the grill and we'll take you over to the grill and we'll grill them up. Alright, we got the grill set on 300 degrees. I'm gonna throw the fish in. And it'll be all set. Ready to go on the grill. We have uh, two burners off. We have the metal burner on medium. So we're gonna have, should have even heat all the way around. I'm gonna throw it on. One white bass on that side, one on the top grill, and one on this side. And we're just going to continuously check on this every 5-10 minutes or so. And it should take about 20-25 minutes to cook, uh, longer or, sh or less uh, depending on the heat that you have. So just uh, make sure you guys check the temperature. And we are set. We'll see you guys back in a bit. All right guys, it's been about 25, 30 minutes. Now we're gonna check it out. Let's see what we got. I got my assistant here. Check out the white bass. Oh man, look at this guys. I think that is done. So 300 degrees for about 25, 30 minutes. And it's all set, I get all the juice. start calling this down and uh, we'll serve it later all right guys i hope you guys are ready for the review of this beautifully cooked grilled white bass and, and foil oh look at this guys look how juicy it is steamy really yummy and just take the camera view now you see the chili oil you see the stuffing the white bass smell the aroma it smells so good all right 
good to take a piece put on this platter right here and they'll put a nice tender loin we're gonna grab a little bit of our spices right down here oh man guys this looks delicious Mmm, guys, uh, you guys are missing out. Perfect flavoring. Again, you guys can put uh, as much or as less spice as you want in here. Uh, you don't follow recipes when you're cooking Asian dishes. You just put a lot of stuff together, and if it tastes good, it's gonna be, it's gonna taste good. Just have a lot of confidence in, in what you cook, and it's gonna always turn out right. Flavor. You can taste the chili, the cilantro, the green onions. If you guys wanted to, you guys can throw a lemon in here if you want to, or lime, or whatever you guys want. Um, go ahead and give this recipe a try, and let me know what you guys think. And I'm going to go finish this. Alright, catch you guys later.